Hi, I'm SPJ, co-creator and member of Multiworld Entertainment and creator of Deeper Dive. I want to take the time out to thank all of you for the amazing response to the Swagger Like Us video. It's our biggest video to date on the channel. Because of all the new subscribers, I think this is a perfect time to give a bit of info about the channel and the Deeper Dive show specifically, using some of the comments from the latest video as kind of a Q&A. Again, I appreciate everyone who took their time out to say a couple words. There were a lot of comments, and as I am the only one on the team focusing on this channel currently, I simply couldn't keep up with all of them. While all engagement is welcome, there were a few who clearly didn't understand what was going on, and a few more who were just flat out wrong about some things. That takes us to our first comments. Bro, I wanted to hear this. But you taking too long to get to the point. Five minutes of rambling should be cut to one minute. Whole video is a reach bro. I have zero complaints about this song and your problems with it. Don't over intellectualize it. Just enjoy. Merriam Webster defines a deep dive as an exhaustive investigation, study, or analysis of a question or topic. What you're complaining about is the entire point to thoroughly analyze and think about something. If every five minutes of that video were one minute, the video would be shorter than the song. So if you came here for this show expecting to see short videos without thought put into them, this probably isn't the channel for you. And that's okay. The purpose of Deeper Dive is to spark a conversation. And I'm not really concerned with everyone agreeing with me. That's not a new stance either. At the end of the video, I literally asked, how do you feel about the song? Do you think it was as big a failure as I do? Am I crazy and you love the song? The back and forth is what I'm actually going after. And a bunch of you did that for this last video. There were plenty of well thought out comments that disagreed with my conclusion and you guys are the real MVPs. I'm not a fan of echo chambers. I find them quite boring. That being said, I don't just be saying shit, y'all. This show is a mixture of fact and opinion. Sometimes a video will be fact heavy with a sprinkle of opinion, sometimes the other way around. And I put it out for you guys to do with that what you please. But just because you don't like a fact does not stop it from being a fact. There were a couple examples of this. Laughing my fucking ass off. Did this guy say J, Z, the goat, the god, the legend, has never been a big selling artist? Dude go do your research, seriously. He has more Grammys than anybody on this song and more number albums than any artist on this song. I mentioned that, in general, Jay-Z has never really been a huge chart topper or seller for one reason or another. I didn't make that up. But I could have been a little clearer. I'm not comparing Jay-Z to the average Joe rapper. I'm comparing him to the other top-notch album sellers in the rap game. And compared to them, his album sales are just okay on average. As far as Jay-Z outselling everyone on this song, well, that's just wrong. Kanye is above him on the best-selling all-time list, and he averages more sales per album. As far as charting, debut week chart stats are extremely misleading. Everyone who sells has a number one album somewhere because they have teams that avoid other releases. When I say charting, I'm talking about end of year charts. Your way off. Black Republican felt forced. Paper Planes was mainly about smoking weed. And Swagger Like Us is a classic. You trippin' hard and reaching. If you feel Black Republican was forced, that's fine. That's your opinion. If you feel Swagger Like Us was a classic, that's fine. That's your opinion. But Paper Planes is absolutely not a song about smoking weed. It's about, well, what I said it was about in the video. That wasn't my opinion. That's from the artist who actually wrote the song. My team applies for a visa. It's nice because all the visa people now really know the song. 
and uh, they play it and then they go, oh, what do you say? I get a visa done in a day if you wait. And then they go, cool, I can do that for you. And then they like deliver visas in a day now. Just because the first time you heard the song was in the Pineapple Express trailer doesn't mean it's a stoner song. The line, I fly like paper, get high like planes, is actually about the manufacturing of fake visas. When you watch a deeper dive video, you can rest assured that anything passed off as fact has been researched. Now, that doesn't mean we will always get it right, but you're always welcome to fact check us, and if we see it, we will absolutely either clarify or correct. As time goes on, you guys may see videos pop up that are not branded as Deeper Dive. That's because Multiworld is about a wide range of things. By the way, that's what Multiworld means, really. He's not of the US, so he wouldn't understand this song. I can only assume that seeing Multiworld is why someone thought I was not from the United States. Funny enough, everyone in Multiworld is from the United States except one person. He's from Canada, and he actually has a deeper dive video coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Again, everybody, thank you for the feedback, the views, and the subs. Even the ones like the comments above who don't actually seem to get it. Seriously, I literally saw one comment that said, I don't care about this, it's just your opinion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, what? Anyway, there were far more comments that understood what was going on, even if they didn't agree with my take. And again, you guys are the real MVPs. So subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. Check out our other videos popping up somewhere on the screen and keep your eyes out for the next video about how forever was a posse cut that definitely didn't fail. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.